How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. This is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Kahoob and he says, Hey Drifty, was just wondering if you could make a tutorial on making a clicker game in RPG Maker MV, if it's even possible. I would love to make a clicker game, but not sure how it would work. Uh, games like Cookie Clicker and so on. Well Kahoob, um, I've made a little clicker game for you and it's super easy to do um, and it is entirely possible. So I'll show you how I did it, but let me show you what it is first. So we've got our little clicker game. It's just a clicker demo. We've got our map uh, show gold window on. This is a Yanfly plugin you're probably going to want to have. But the thing that makes this all work is Yanfly's picture common events plugin. So we make some common events. We make it do whatever we want. We make the player transparent. We've got a little event on the map here. This little button's going to make the town grow. So if we want to make the town grow, we have to click this blue button. Now you can put in a tutorial and let the player know how your game is going to work. I haven't put it because I'm telling you. Um, but so we, we click on this little button right there and we need more gold to make the town grow. So how do we get more gold? Well, we just click on the button right here. So we click and we get about 20 gold. When we have 20 gold, we click on the button, plays an animation, and it upgrades the building. So we try to click it again, oh, it took our gold. So we have to get more gold. We get all the way up there. We could have 18, that's not enough. You can set however much for each level that you want it to have. And so I put it to 20, you could put it more if you want a bit more clickers and stuff. But you click it again, upgrades to the next level and all we're doing is adding to a variable and that variable is, is turning pages on events so let's click it up again let's get to about 20 you could increase this number i just kept it at 20 to make it short and easy to get to uh just to, de to demonstrate but you can see you can upgrade to multiple tiles you you don't have to just have one tile upgraded you can have as many tiles as you want being uh changed and as many buttons you could pick better buttons than these and you could use Anfly's icon generator to create pictures uh, because you can upload it uh, or you could export those uh, icons at different sizes. So we'll go ahead and keep upgrading. Let's get this right here. Boom. So that's the next tier. Boom. And we're at fully upgraded castle there. And then whatever you want that to do, I mean, it, really, this is, uh, I'm going to show you the method on how you could go about creating a, click, a clicker game, but it's up to your own creativity on how to use this information to make a, a good, a fun clicker game. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. We can keep upgrading, but that's as far as I put the pages. You just keep upgrading the pages and it, as it updates the variable. So if this looks like it's something cool that you like, Kahoob, um, let's get to it and I'll show you how I did it. So basically, it's really easy. You're going to get a couple plugins. The first plugin you're going to want is uh, Yanfly's Picture Common Events. This is the main one you're going you're gonna to need for this to work. Just put that in. Um, get the most recent version. I believe 1.05 is the most recent, but you can check to be sure. Um, you're also going to want this plugin from Yanfly called Map Gold Window. And all you got to do is set this to true and it'll automatically show uh, the, your gold from the beginning. But you can change it to false and use a plugin command to make this show up uh, whenever you want right there. So it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, also the, the default position, so you got one. Uh, it's just like a number keypad. So you got one, two, three, four. Five is not there. I think five doesn't exist. And then you have six, seven, eight, nine. So nine is going to put it on the top right. Imagine if your whole screen was like a number pad. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> so that's how you can tell what position is what. Opacity is how see-through it is. If you want it to be completely visible and not see-through at all, you change that to 255. Uh, 200 will let it have a little bit of see-through visibility. Um, and that's it for the plugins, right? Um, one thing you'll have to do, region restrictions. No, no, no. Uh, where is it at? Picture common events is to uh, change your settings to work how you want, and you need to reference which picture you want to use. So you can have uh, you can number up to 100 pictures. You can have more pictures than that, but you can only have 100 numbered uh, s reference locations of a picture at the same time. So I'm just using picture 100 and picture 99, and what I'm doing is selecting uh, the picture number release. So when I click on a button, it's not going to do anything, but if I keep my mouse where it's at and I let go of the click, then it's going to run common event number 13. So double click there, put in a, a common event right there, a blank one for now, and do another one for 99 to, to do this uh, how I've set it up. Of course, you've got all these other ones to play with, and you're going to put your pictures in the, the IMG slash picture folder for this. So you're going to get two common events. Let's look at those common events, which you've got your plugins. Common events are super easy to do. Uh, number 13, clicker add gold. We're going to show an animation, that doom, 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 weapon bash. You can have it simple, long, whatever you want, an animation. 
and we're going to show this either on the player or on a specific point on the map. Now, if you want to put this on a specific point on the map, you can do um, a place animation uh, plugin command, but it's easier. Just use the eventing part of it and make an event where you want the animation to play. Like, say I wanted the animation to play right here. Then I'll just say uh, clicker animation spot or whatever you want to call it right there. So then when I reference it, where is it at? Oh, in the common event, and I go to show uh, animation, I can select different uh, spots, right? Clicker animation spot, and it'll play the animation right there. So that's how you're going to handle it. For me, what I'm doing in this is I'm going to my system. I'm setting my uh, options to start transparent, and I'm starting on this map, and I'm also using one other plugin to skip the title screen, if you want to skip the title screen. Not necessary, but um, it is something in there to just make me jump start right to this thing. Uh, it's somewhere around here, DK, skip title screen. So that's the plugin I'm using to just jump straight to this and not do like the start continue options thing. Skip title screen and, and just jump straight to whatever map you're on. For It's good for bug testing and play testing. You just skip one scene you have to go through. But anyway, uh, we've got our plugins. We've got um, the beginning of our common event. Let's finish looking at our common events. We're playing an animation, playing a sound effect if you want, and we're going to change gold. That's easy right there. Change gold, increase by whatever number you want. One. That's for our 13. That's for when we click on the button that um, you could change this number to add gold. The other one is for adding to a variable to manipulate uh, other events on the scene. So we're going to do a conditional check right here. We're on the first uh, page. We're going to say conditional branch. On that conditional branch, we're going to go over to tab four and say gold is greater than equal to however much you want it to cost to upgrade. And then you're going to say create else branch. So if they have 20 gold, then then you're going to just change gold and take away uh, 20 gold by change gold and selecting decrease and the number that you want to check for. And then we're going to show an animation on whatever event you want. You know, I just showed you how to play, place an animation wherever you want. You can use a plugin for it or you can do it eventing by just putting an event there and, and calling it on that event. Uh, then we're going to control a variable. So we're going to need another variable for this. This is going to be our clicker city growth variable. We call it whatever you want. But what this is going to do is use an operation of addition and it's going to add a constant of one to that. So this is how we're going to use. It's sort of like imagine a switch that's got multiple layers, right? So we're using this as variable as a switch, but it's saying uh, this is the first iteration of the switch, the second iteration, the third iteration. And so we can continually upgrade the town as many times as we want based on, um, well, technically we're limited by 20 pages, I think, on the event, but you can always move event and replace event to to make it work uh, infinitely if you if you uh, have the know-how. It's not too hard to do that. But anyway, yeah, so we're just adding to the variable. Otherwise, we're going to play a sound effect and show a, a text pop-up saying, hey, you need more gold, so get to clicking or something like that, right? So two common events, super easy. And since we're starting with the map gold window set to true in the parameters, we're going to see our gold. We're going to see, Now we have to figure out um, how are we going to see the pictures to click on them. Well, we need a controller event. So on the map, we're going to create a new event and call it our controller. This is an auto run. And basically, all it's going to do is show pictures and then a race event. So to show pictures, it's really easy. You're just going to go to tab 2. And uh, under picture, you say show picture. So when you've got that open, you're going to need to decide what number. We have to number this, right? And because we picked number 100 and number 99 on our picture common events, but, uh, we, need to name, we need to number our, common, our pictures with those numbers, right? So number 100 is going to show whatever picture you want. And to, like I said, to add pictures to this, just go into your game's IMG pictures folders and put PNG files in there, and they'll appear in here once you save. And uh, you might have to close and open the game. I doubt it, but, you, you know, if it doesn't show up immediately, close, save the project, close the project, open the project. You might refresh it. Um, but anyway, get whatever pictures you want. Now, in order for animations to play on top of these pictures, you need to um, set the blend mode to additive. That way, the, the animations will play on top of them, basically. Well, they're still behind him, but because of the, uh, the, the blend mode and the nature of how it works, it's going to look like it's on top. So blend mode additive, you want your animations to show up above it. Um, otherwise, just play around with it, see what other, whatever looks best for you, depending on your image. Now the scale, you can change the size of your pictures. This is pretty t uh, uh, easy tutorial show picture animation stuff. Like um, 
you, you could just mess with these numbers as much as you want. The location of the screen, remember X starts on zero on the left, goes all the way to the right to your maximum resolution. So 1080, 1080p is 1920 by 1080, so it would be all the way right here, and then zero, zero is top left. And if you're using standard HD 1280 by 720, then bottom right corner is 1280, 720. You know, 1280 is the X, it's, it goes first, and the Y goes second. And as you add to the Y, it goes down. So you've got zero, zero in the top left, and 1280, 720 in the bottom right. If you wanted to go top right, you would say, uh, X is all the way max, but Y is still zero, so you're going to say 1280 by zero. If you wanted to go bottom left, you would say X is zero, but Y is maximum Y resolution, so 0, 0720. Hopefully that makes sense on how you would put it. Uh, you could also use variables to designate where it's at to make it move around, uh, you know, uh, depending on whatever else you have going on. Maybe it's a moving thing that goes back and forth and the player has to click it fast enough. Uh, it's up to you. Um, all that is up to you. Like I said, you can change the origin and all that stuff. But basically, you do that for the second one as well, 99. Uh, and this is our second one to uh, increase... Um, the next uh, common event, right, to see if we have enough gold. So you just place all your pictures right there with your controller event, and, and that's basically it. You place your player somewhere on a map that they can't move around on. That way, when you click, it doesn't move your character because the player is restricted. Now, um, if, like, even if I was on a map that was, like, um, like I could walk around, you could use Yanfly's region restriction to just basically uh, paste. Now, even if this this tile was uh, t mapped as a tile set, and the tile set is walkable, when you're in clicker mode on this map, then it won't let you pass because we're using the Anslide Region Restriction plugin. And because I'm using 85, uh, I'm using 85 as the player restrict all all restrict. So nothing can move, even if the tile set lets you move. So there's lots of things you can do uh, with how to control. Uh, the player's movements, but you basically want the player to not be seen or not be moved because we're just using like a screen and we're not using the character walking around for this. Um, but it's up to you to make it however you want. So that's pretty much it, Kahoob. Hopefully you like this tutorial on how to make a clicker game. We'll take a look at it one more time to see the uh, the quick results of, of a very crappy clicker game. We try to click on here to build our upgrade our city, but we need more gold. So we click on this button to get enough gold. Once we have enough gold, we can click on that and it does an animation and it upgrades our city and whatever that's going to affect in your game is up to you um, but I'm giving you the know-how to actually create a clicker game it's not really hard and it is completely possible so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial Tuesday uh, please consider subscribing subscribe to the channel if you're not already here uh, as a subscriber please consider supporting me on patreon backing me I'd really appreciate that thank you to everybody who is backing me on patreon um, yeah, if you have any questions or special requests, put them in the comments below. Um, we're getting multiple tutorials every week thanks to the Patreon supporters, and you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button if you like this tutorial. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.